Hello friends, welcome back to Rising Mathematics. In this video, we are going to see the concept of forward shift of a function in time scales. Let f be the function defined from time scale t to r, then forward shift of a function denoted by f sigma is a function from time scale t to r which is defined by f sigma t is f evaluated at sigma t for any element t in time scale t. Thus, from here, we have f sigma is composition of f with the forward jump operator sigma. Since we know that sigma that is forward jump operator in time scale is a function from time scale t to t. Thus composition of f with sigma is possible and forward shift of a function f sigma is composition of f with sigma. Now we will see this concept of forward shift through example. Let us consider a time scale t containing all numbers of the form 2 to the power n plus 2 where n is some natural number and f is a function such that f of t equals to t square plus t minus 1. Now we are going to find forward shift of, shift of this function f t. Let us consider an element t in this time scale which is equals to 2 to the power n plus 2 where n is some natural number. Then we have sigma t is infimum of set of all elements of the form 2 to the power l plus 2 such that 2 to the power l plus 2 is strictly greater than 2 to the power n plus 2 where l is some natural number. So this set will contain all numbers of the form 2 to the power n plus 1 plus 2, 2 to the power n plus 2 plus 2, 2 to the power n plus 3 plus 2 and so on. And clearly its infimum is this number 2 to the power n plus 1 plus 2. So we get sigma t equals to 2 to the power n plus 1 plus 2 that is sigma t equals to 2 to the power n plus 3. Now for this t we have found sigma t equals to 2 to the power n plus 3. So we have f sigma t equals to f evaluated at sigma t by definition. So we have f sigma t equals to sigma t its square plus sigma t minus 1 which is equals to now we know that sigma t is 2t since here 2 to the power n plus 3 can be written as 2 into 2 to the power n plus 2 and 2 to the power n plus 2 is t so we get sigma t equals to 2t. So we have replaced this sigma t with 2t. So f sigma t equals to 2t square plus 2t minus 1 which is equals to 4t square plus 2t minus 1. So this is forward shift of the given function f for this time scale. Next example is of a time scale containing numbers of the form square root of n plus 3 for some natural number n. Then f of t equals to t plus 3. So for a number t equals to square root of n plus 3 in this time scale we have n equals to t square minus 3. Now next we have sigma t is infimum of set of all elements of the form square root of l plus 3 such that square root of l plus 3 is strictly greater than square root of n plus 3 where n is some natural number. So this set will contain all numbers of the form square root of n plus 1 plus 3, square root of n plus 2 plus 3, square root of n plus 3 plus 3 and so on and clearly its infimum is this number square root of n plus 1 plus 3. So we get sigma t equals to square root of n plus 1 plus 3 which is equals to square root of n plus 4. Now replacing this n with t square minus 3 we get sigma t equals to square root of t square minus 3 plus 4. So finally we get sigma t equals to square root of t square plus 1. And hence f of sigma t equals to sigma t plus 3 since we have f of t equals to t plus 3. So here we will replace t with sigma t. So we get f of sigma t equals to sigma t plus 3 and here sigma t is square root of t square plus 1. So we get f of sigma t that is forward shift of the given function f for given time scale equals to square root of t square plus 1 plus 3. 